What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 15, Thursday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top picks for the Thursday Night Football Showdown between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL Week 15. Let's take a look at this Thursday Night Football Showdown. So at the quarterback position, I like Justin Herbert from the LA Chargers playing the Las Vegas Raiders who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Justin Herbert has averaged 23.7 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 3.4 rush attempts per game. He's going to be about 59% owned, projected at 20.8 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 11,800 DraftKings salary. Now Vegas thinks there's going to be 53.5 points scored in this game, and they have the Chargers trailing by three. So you got a pretty good matchup here, high scoring game and a passing game script. And then you get a little bit of a rushing floor with Justin Herbert. Although he hasn't rushed the ball too much as of late, he can get you a rushing touchdown on the ground. So I like Justin Herbert here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Now I also like Derek Carr, who's been red hot the last two games from the Las Vegas Raiders, averaging 19.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 2.7 rush attempts per game. He scored 29 and 36 fantasy points in the last two games, and he's gonna be about 51% owned, projected at 18.8 .8 fantasy points here tonight. He's 10,000 DraftKings salary, so you're gonna save some salary with Derek Carr. And he's got a pretty good matchup here as well. The LA Chargers are giving up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. It's gonna be a pretty close game here. He's been hot the past couple of games, so I think it would be a mistake to avoid Derek Carr in all of your lineups. So I like Derek Carr here versus the LA Chargers. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. Now, Austin Eckler was limited in practice. I think he's going to play, but make sure to keep an eye on the injury news before the game starts. See if he's in or out. But if he plays, I like Austin Eckler from the LA Chargers playing the Las Vegas Raiders, who have the fifth worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Austin Eckler has averaged 17.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 12.3 rush attempts per game and 7.3 pass targets per game. He got nine, nine, and 16 pass targets in the last three games. And he scored 24, 11, and 24 fantasy points. So that's a ton of passing volume. You're getting a wide receiver and a rushing back in one player, and he's gonna be about 54% owned, projected at 19.2 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 10,400 DraftKings salary. So you gotta pay up for Austin Eckler, but he's got the most upside on the slate because of that passing volume and the rushing volume that he gets. He's a dual threat, so I like Austin Eckler here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Now the other running back that I like, his salary's come down a little bit. He's been injured or he hasn't really played to his maximum capability the past few games. But because of the lower salary, I like Josh Jacobs from the Las Vegas Raiders. He's averaging 15.9 fantasy points per game on the season 
getting an average of 18.3 rush attempts per game and 3.3 pass targets per game. Now, he scored 10 fantasy points last week off of 13 rush attempts and 5 pass targets. I'm not sure if he was fully healthy last week, but he should be here tonight. And he's going to be about 44% owned, projected at 15.6 fantasy points here tonight. And he's 8,800 DraftKings salary. So he's got a decent matchup here. And it could be a running game script if the Las Vegas Raiders can get a lead in this game. So I like Josh Jacobs here versus the LA Chargers. Okay, now just keep an eye on that Austin Eckler news. If you're looking for a deep sleeper pick or a low salary running back, and you don't know if Austin Eckler is going to be 100%, maybe he's going to share some of those carries. Take a look at Kalen Balaj from the LA Chargers. He got seven rush attempts in the past two games and also two and four pass targets. So that's pretty good volume. He's going to be about 12% owned, projected at 6.2 fantasy points here tonight, but he's only 2,400 DraftKings salary. So fantastic matchup at the running back position. And if Austin Eckler is going to give up some carries, I really like Kalen Balaj as a low salary, high risk, high reward play here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. MLB is still going. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. So another player that's questionable, and I think he's going to play tonight, I like Keenan Allen from the LA Chargers playing the Las Vegas Raiders who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Keenan Allen has averaged 19.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 11.1 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 54% owned, projected at 18.4 fantasy points here tonight. He's 11,000 DraftKings salary, so great matchup. He gets a ton of targets. He's by far the number one receiver for Justin Herbert. So I like Keenan Allen here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, the other thing about Keenan Allen is that Mike Williams went out last week and he was out of practice pretty much all through the week, but he did come back yesterday as a limited practice and he's a true game time decision here tonight. So if Mike Williams is out and Keenan Allen is in, that makes Keenan Allen a must play here tonight. Even if Mike Williams plays, Keenan Allen is a great play. But just keep an eye on that injury report. Check in to see if Mike Williams is in or out. And if he's out, I really like the stack with Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert. Although you're going to have to spend up at those two positions, you can fill it out with some low salary players from the Las Vegas Raiders, defense and some kickers. So I really like the Keenan Allen, Justin Herbert stack, especially if Mike Williams is out. Okay, another wide receiver that I like, moving down in salary here, is Nelson Aguilar from the Las Vegas Raiders playing the LA Chargers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Nelson Aguilar has averaged 11.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.9 pass targets per game. But take a look at his last three games. He scored 24, 8, and 10 fantasy points off of 9, 11, and 6 pass targets. He's going to be about 34% owned, projected at 12.5 fantasy points here tonight, 
and he's 7,400 DraftKings salary. So I like Nelson Aguilar here versus the LA Chargers. Okay, now if you end up needing to save some salary in your lineup here tonight, I like Hunter Renfro from the Las Vegas Raiders. He's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season, getting about five pass targets per game. He scored eight, nine, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games, off of seven, six, and nine pass targets. So I like that passing volume. His production's been pretty good. And he's going to be about 25% owned, projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's only 4,800 DraftKings salary. So he's going to be one of those low salary players you can jam into your lineup if you're going to play the Keenan Allen and the Justin Herbert stack. So I like Hunter Renfro here versus the LA Chargers. Okay, and one more wide receiver. If Mike Williams is out, I like Tyron Johnson from the LA Chargers playing the Las Vegas Raiders. Tyron Johnson came in and scored 18 fantasy points off of seven pass targets when Mike Williams went out last week. He's gonna be about 14% owned, but expect that ownership to climb if Mike Williams is ruled out. He's projected at 6.7 fantasy points here tonight and he's 5,000 DraftKings salary. So if Mike Williams is out, I like Tyron Johnson here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay, let's take a look at the tight end position. I like Darren Waller from the Las Vegas Raiders, averaging 16.4 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of nine pass targets per game. He scored 15, 48, and six fantasy points in the last three games off of 10, 17, and seven pass targets. He's gonna be about 43% owned, projected at 16 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 9,400 DraftKings salary. So this guy's got monster upside. He's got a pretty decent matchup here tonight. So I like Darren Waller here versus the LA Chargers. And if you're looking to save some salary at the tight end position, take a look at Hunter Henry from the LA Chargers. He's averaging 9.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.6 .6 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 25% owned, projected at 10 fantasy points here tonight. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary. So he's another one of these lower salary players that's got double digit fantasy point upside that you can fit into your lineup so I like Hunter Henry here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.